Today, we're gonna to continue with activity 2.1, need input. We're gonna be focusing on how we can detect temperature using our microbit. Now, the microbit checks how hot its CPU or main computer chip is. Because the microbit does not usually get very hot, the temperature of the CPU is usually close to the temperature of wherever you are. The microbit might warm up a little if you make it work hard enough, though. The temperature on your microbit is measured in Celsius. The microbit can also find temperature nearby by checking how hot its computer chips are. If you would like to learn more information about how your microbit hardware can detect temperature, please watch the microbit temperature sensor video linked into the comments below. For our temperature project, our main objective is to detect the amount of temperature located in the room where the microbit is located. If the temperature is greater than 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit, then we're going to have the text hot scroll across the screen. If the temperature is equal to 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit or below, we're going to show the string of text called cold. Now we'll also want to be able to display what the current temperature is by pressing the A button, or when using the B button, we'll use our Celsius to Fahrenheit formula to show that temperature in Fahrenheit. Now what we want our program to do, it should really run continuously, meaning it should constantly be checking our program or what that current temperature is. We'll do this by using a forever block in our make code environment. We will then need to use our condition, which is an if statement. And if the temperature is greater than 27 or 80 degrees Fahrenheit, then we're gonna scroll that message hot. If the temperature is equal to or less than that 80 degrees Fahrenheit, that is where we'll use our else block and we'll scroll the message cold. In order to test your program on your microbit, you will use the sidebar in order to increase or decrease the temperature to test your values. This is very similar to how you program the light level with using your emulator. We can simply just take that bar and drop it down, and once we get below the required value, we should see the string of text change. Again, if we grab that same value and drag it up, we should now see the word hot scroll across the screen. Once you're in make code, the first thing we need to do is select an event handler that we're going to be using. Since we want our program to run continuously and constantly check what the temperature is in the room, we're going to need to use a forever event handler. So now that we have an event handler that's going to trigger our program, the next step is to write the condition. Our condition that we have for this program is if the temperature is greater than 27 degrees Celsius. If so, we're going to scroll the message hot across the screen. We do have an else statement, which means that we should see the word cold if the temperature is indeed equal to or less than that 27 degrees. So we're gonna to need to go ahead into our logic drawer and we're gonna be grabbing an if then else statement. Now with our if then else statement, we have one condition, which is my if statement and two possible outcomes. So for my if statement, the first thing I need to do is create an equation or a logic statement that's going to check if the temperature is greater than 27 degrees. In order to do this, I'm going to grab from my logic drawer a less than sign. I'm going to need to flip that less than sign to be greater than. Once we have that, at this point, we have a condition that reads if zero is greater than zero. For your first zero, we're going to need to go into our input drawer and down below we'll find temperature. So this is going to check what the current temperature is in the room or what the temperature of the microbit is feeling at that time. The value we're going to be using is what we are using in our project, which is 27 degrees Celsius. So by putting the number 27 in there, what we are reading here is if the temperature is greater than 27 degrees Celsius, we should have our string scroll across the screen saying hot. Now we can test that before completing the else statement. And we can do that by taking that sidebar and dragging it up. Once it's above that 27 degrees Celsius, we should see hot scroll across the screen. For the else statement, all we're going to need to do is go in and add another string of text in the else statement that says cold. Now this will go ahead and complete your program as far as detecting the amount of temperature. And we can test that as you can see, it is cold if it's below 27. And once we get above 27, we'll see the word hot. The other part of this program is to detect what that temperature is and display it on the LED screen. Now the Celsius portion of this is pretty easy. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add an on a button press. So we're going to add another event handler that says on a button press. 
And in this case, we're going to go ahead and show what that temperature is. We can do that by going into our basic drawer and grabbing a show number. And instead of showing the number zero, we're just going to go ahead and show what the temperature is. So we can drop that temperature in and by hitting the A button, that should show us what the current temperature is. Now you may have to hold it down until that string of text completes, but once we do that and cold scrolls across the screen, we'll see that it's now showing me 21 degrees Celsius. The next portion of this is a little bit harder. This is being able to convert from Celsius over to Fahrenheit. In order to do this, we're going to grab another event handler and we're going to call this one on B button press. So when we press the B button, instead of seeing it in Celsius, we're now going to go ahead and see what that temperature would be in Fahrenheit. Now, in order to do this, we're still going to use our show number, but we're going to need to use several different logic or math blocks in order to convert this over from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So remember that the equation in order to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit is we're going to take the Celsius temperature and multiply that by nine. So that's step one of our program. So we're going to take our temperature and from that temperature, we need to find a way to multiply this by nine. Now we can do that by grabbing a math block and we're going to find the multiplication and we're going to say temperature times nine. Now that we've taken our Celsius temperature and multiplied that by nine, the next step is to go and divide the result of that by five. So we're going to go back into our math drawer. We're going to find a division block and we're going to take this entire block above because we want the result of this and that's going to go in the first zero. Once we get the result of our temperature times nine, we're then going to divide that value by five. The last step is to find the result of our temperature times nine divided by five and add that to 32. So if we go back into our math drawer, we're going to grab the addition block. Just as before, we're going to take the entire result and drop it in the first half and we're going to go ahead and add 32. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and drop all of our code into that show number. Now by doing that, we should be able to see that when we hit the A button, that we should see the value of our microbit is 21 degrees Celsius. However, if we go and hit the B button, we're now going to see that that 21 degrees Celsius will be converted over to 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have completed your code, download it to your microbit and give it a try. 